Uh, today we will be solving the problem count sub matrices with the equal frequency of x comma y so let's understand the problem clearly then we will see the approaches to solve this problem now the problem states that given a 2d character matrix grid where grid of ij is either x comma y or dot return the number of sub matrices that contains grid of 0 comma 0 should be present so my first uh, my grid gonna start at 0 comma 0 right so my 0 comma 0 should present an equal frequency of x and y so if my x frequency is 1 my one y frequency should be 1 if it is 2 my y frequency should be 2 and he is saying that at least one x should be there that means at least my x should be 1 that means you can't have all dots like this x is equal to 0 is not valid now he's saying that I can start at grid 0 comma 0. So if you are starting at 0 comma 0, how many matrices you can form? You can form this way and you can add here. This is this, this or you can add here. You can form in this way. Then you can add here. Then you can add here. So starting with, you can start with here first index and you can go to the right to the bottom and you can go diagonally and you can build how many sub matrices you want. Now, let's understand this example now you have given x y dot y dot y now here x y my frequencies are 1 this is valid and this is also valid and this is also valid because my frequencies are 1 1 now if you see in this whole in this whole grid my x frequency is 1 y frequency is 1 i don't care about dot now if you consider this box my x frequency is 1 y is 2 so it's invalid so one thing is for sure is we want the prefix sums we want prefix sums to get the count of x and to get the count of y's now we are going to start from 0 comma 0 because it should it should present in my sub matrix so consider this find phi grid phi cross phi grid and we have these values now if you see here 0 comma 0 will be a 0 comma 1 will be a plus b right a plus b 0 comma 2 will be a plus b plus c this is the prefix sum you are performing towards your right side now if you are coming to the column side this is row and this is my column 0 comma 0 will be a then this is 1 comma 0 will be a plus d and 1 2 comma 0 will be a plus d plus g right now consider 1 comma 1 how you can form 1 comma 1 right if you want to form 1 comma 1 so here you can do is you can take this or you can take you you can take this right you have two conditions you can take this or this you can take this or that so if when you are at e you have these two conditions b plus d that means 0 comma 1 plus 1 comma 0 because you want these frequencies and you want the this frequencies yes you are doing that so it will be a plus b and a plus d a plus b and a plus d now if you see here my a is repeating right my a is repeating so i am gonna subtract my a which is at 0 comma 0 i am subtracting a which is at 0 comma 0 and my answer will be a plus b plus d plus e right at 1 comma 1 now consider it 1 comma 2 at 1 comma 2 so from 0 to 2 you need you want this prefix right you want this prefix and and i am considering 1 comma 1 that is this prefix this prefix now if you observe clearly this is my extra right this a plus b is extra so i am doing it subtraction from here subtraction of 0 comma 1 of 0 comma 1 so if you observe the formula it is simple right it's like when you are at i comma j when you are at i comma j when you are at i comma j consider this as my matrix when you are at this position right i comma j you can take this that is that is i sorry that is simply i minus 1 j right i minus 1 j plus and or you can take this which is i my my column will be constant which is i and my 
uh, row will be constant my column will be decreased by 1 which is j minus 1 and I need to subtract this value which is i minus 1 comma j minus 1 so this is my formula you can say v of ij is equals to and you can add that v of ij value over here again so I think you have understood the proof so now let's uh, see the coding part how exactly you can solve this problem it's simple first x count prefix sum and we are taking calculate prefix sum for x now I will go here and my target character is x my grid I will calculate the row grid dot size and column and I am I am forming the prefix sum right I am forming the prefix sum and here if you see here my row is greater than 0 that means you are dependent on row minus 1 row minus 1 if my column is greater than 0 you are dependent on column minus 1 if it is 0 and 0 directly you can go right directly you can add this and you can add this you don't care about my previous elements now if my row is greater than 0 and column is greater than 0 that means I want this value where I have this value and I have this value right is greater than 0 so I will subtract it from my prefix sum I will subtract it from my prefix sum this value I will subtract it so finally we are returning the prefix sum and we are doing same with the y count prefix we are calculating the prefix for the y and finally we are checking x count at every row from 0 comma 0 to n comma n we are checking for every row and we are checking x count and the y count are matching and my x count is greater than 0 if it is 0 it's not a valid one then I am incrementing the matching sub matrix count plus plus and finally we are returning it so the main crux of the problem is this formula so if you understood this formula right uh, like if you seeing this example I, I have tried my best but I think I could have done better in this video while explaining this formula and it's really difficult to visualize the things and explain and if you did not understood like how exactly the formula is derived I am really sorry for that but if you have learned something new from this video please do like and if you are new to the channel please consider to subscribe and I have created a whatsapp community you can join there for further updates I will see you in the next video till then bye bye